going off into this series of uh, don't read. Okay. That's why we're going into this series of order. All right, because in order for us to properly please Yahweh, man, we got to be in proper order. You, you, if, if when the Mashiach Yahweh shall come through here, man, like the brother was saying, and we not in proper order, proper standing with Yahweh, man, you can you can wrap it up. It's it's over with for you. All right, but if you are in proper order, you are doing those things that's pleasing to Yahweh. You got that chance to be saved. All right, so we're gonna do an introductory lesson today. I'm not gonna be too long. All right, so it's just an introductory piece. Why is order so important? Why do you think order is so important amongst Israel, amongst what the Most High is setting up for this kingdom? I think order is important because if you have order, you have direction. That's right. That's right. So go ahead, Amir. You got to add to that. Mm -hmm. So like order would be like say like if, um. Somebody come through here, our enemies come through here with guns. We have to have order in order to make it out safe. That's right. That's right. Because if we get chaotic, they come in here, then what, what's going to happen? A lot of us are going to be put to death, right? But if we had that proper order, then we can handle that as such, right? So that's what the Most High set up with his word. But this is the thing. Most of us don't understand that. That's why Israel is so dope. Our, our nation is out of order, and in turn, the entire planet. Is out of order, right? So let's kick it off with uh, Psalms 33 and the sixth verse. Psalms chapter 33 and verse 6. By the word of the Most High were the heavens made. By the what? By the word of the Most High were the heavens made. So who's the word, real quick? A Mashiach Yahawashah, right? Uh -huh. So the Most High used a Mashiach Yahawashah to create the entire universe. You understand that, right? So the Most High is like that, that owner of a company, he established the Yahweh Shah is probably the CEO, you know what I'm saying? You handle that, and that's what the Mashiach did. So the Most High was setting up that order. So he said, by that word were the heavens made, right, read? And all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. You see that? So everything that you see in creation today, from the heavens, the earth, the angels order, man, the planet, you name it, everything has been created by Yahweh. But let's see something. Psalms 82 and verse 5. Because we do understand that right now, when the Most High created the sun, the moon, the stars, they all still obey the order that the Most High has put on it, right? Come. Come? Uh -huh. So the sun rises where every time? In the morning. It rises in the east. It sets where? In the west, right? The moon rises and do what it's supposed to do every month, right? The different constellations come in and do what they're supposed to do, right? Huh? The waters don't pass their order unless the Most High say, okay, go ahead, angel of the hurricane, stir it up, right? Other than that, they go back and they do what they're supposed to do, right? So everything pretty much do what it's supposed to do, right? Psalm 82 in verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. You see that? But now because of mankind, we didn't flip everything. Now the natural order of things is starting to change. It is even prophesied in Enoch that the moon was going to switch up a little bit. The sun is going to start uh, bringing out more heat than it normally does. So on and so forth. All because of mankind's rebellion. All right. So we're going to look at three different things real quick. Yahweh has dealt with three rebellions against his order. All right. Let's look at the first one. Let's go to Revelation uh, chapter 12. Pick it up at the fourth verse. All right. So this is why, again, it's so important. But we're going to look at this basic understanding. Do we even know Yahweh? Do we know the things that he has sustained against him? You understand? A lot of times we don't even pay attention to that. And that's why things are out of order. Verse 3. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. Now, spiritually, this is in reference to ha Shaitan. all right? The, the spiritual being that we are up against daily, all right? But let's read on. Let's see what he did, all right? Read. And his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven. So his tail drew a third part of the stars of heaven. That stars of heaven is symbolic for all the angelic hosts, okay. all right? Read on. And did cast them to the earth. Uh -huh. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. See that? So Hashatan and that third, they was in Kahoot. Satan was able actually to go and to convince a third of the angelic host 
that you know what the father he's tyrannical you know we, we can do this thing better I'm wise I, I can be a good rule over you he convinced that angelic host to do so and to prove that drop on down to verse 7 verse 7 and there was war in heaven Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. You see that? So that's coming soon. It said there was war in heaven, and Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Michael is the angel over what nation? Us. Come on, give it to me. Who's Michael the archangel over? Who does he guard over? Israel. Israel. Now he's a chief archangel, of course, Elder, but he's actually the angel, as you read of uh, uh, Daniel the twelfth chapter, he's the angel that's over us. You understand what I'm saying? But he's eventually gonna fight Hashaytan because Hashaytan is gonna do what well, let's see. Read on. And the dragon fought and his angels uh -huh. and prevailed not. Neither was their place found any more in heaven. You see that? So that's that first rebellion that the Most High has had to deal with. When he set up the angelic host, they was right near and dear to him. They could see him so on and so forth. Y'all okay. do understand that Hashetan was a covering cherub. You understand that, right? When you read Ezekiel 28. So what does that mean? That means that he was sitting right next to the Most High. He was able to behold the beauty, the understanding of the Most High. Understand that. So when we, when our forefathers was told to make the Ark of the Covenant, they had to make the mercy seat with the two angels that face each other. Hashetan played that particular role. Before his rebellion. But he decided I could be wiser than the most high. Come and then convince a third to come in and do that same thing and rebel. And you know they had to hurt the most high's heart. But that was a challenge. That was disorder. Come you understand? This is, uh, on a sidebar, y'all do understand that I, I remember you had brought it out about uh Trump and them going ahead and trying to set up that uh that space force. Y'all right? do understand that when we talk about this war right here, that when Hase Tan is kicked down here, that there, there's gonna be a big time war. They know this thing is coming. The White House and Pentagon took the first steps today toward creating a space force as the sixth branch of the military. Space Force just announced that he's directed the United States military to create a sixth a branch. A sixth branch of the military governing outer space. We are going to have the Air Force and we are going to have the Space Force. You know what I'm saying? Very deep thing. So that's the first rebellion. Let's look at mankind's rebellion. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. And pick it up at the 23rd verse. So the first rebellion is by means that was way above, had much more wisdom than we ever have had on the face of this planet. Right? But they went against Yahweh's order. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. Let's pick it up at verse 23. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2 and verse 23. And the Most High created man to be immortal. You see that? Yahweh originally created us to be immortal. You understand that, right? When Adam and Hawa was walking around in that garden, they were immortal already. So in other words, what does that mean? They was already in their salvation. And how Satan was able to come in, get them out of order, right? And take away their salvation. Ain't that so? Read on. And made him to be an image of his own eternity. Uh -huh, read. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil. Through what? Through envy of the devil. Now, who was who was Hashaytan envious of? It was us, but who was he really envious of? He was he was envious against the Most High. He wanted to be Yahweh. He wanted to be the one to get that props and worship. That was completely out of order. How can the thing created turn around and look at the Creator and say, "No, nah, I want that. I want the props." That don't make no sense at all. That's complete disorder. But then he comes down here and now he leads man to do the very same thing. Okay. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. Came what? Came death into the world. Notice that. Now we all got to face the death penalty physically okay. because of the envy of our Satan. Right? Read. And they that do hold of his side do find it. You see that? So in other words, they that hold of disorder they that don't want to do thus saith Yahweh and deal with the order that he has set forth, you hold no Hashaytan's side. Therefore, you're flirting with death. All right? Flip it back over to that second Ezra chapter 3. Pick it up at the fourth verse. Second Ezra chapter 3 and verse 4. Second Ezra chapter 3 and verse 4. O Yahweh, who bearest rule, you speak at the beginning when you did plan the, when you did plant the earth. 
and that thyself alone and command the people and gave a body unto Adam without soul which was the workmanship of thine hands and did breathe into him the breath of life and he was made living before you breathe. and you led him into paradise which thy right hand hath planted before ever the earth came forward and unto him you gave commandment to love thy way. You see that? So the Most High commanded Adam. He said, keep my commandments and love that way. This is what the Most High is asking us to do. Not just keep it. Because a lot of our people just keep the commandments just to keep it. Okay. You don't even do it from the heart. But the Most High wants you to love his way. Right? Read on. Which he transgressed. Which he did what? Which he transgressed. When you transgress, you are going out of order. It's this order when you transgress. Right? Read. And immediately you appointed death in him, in him and in his generations, of whom came nations, tribes, people, and kindreds out of number. Uh -huh, read. And every people walked after their own will. Every people do what? Walk after their own will. You see that? So now every people that's on the face of this earth, every nation to this very day from that time forth is walking in their own will and not the will of Yahweh. So this is why going back to when Yahweh Shah said, who is my mother? Who is my brother? Who is my father? But he that does what? Will. He that does the will of Yahweh. You understand what I'm saying? So now mankind is in complete disorder and rebellion. So we got Hashaytan and the third that failed. Now we got mankind. Now let's look at us. Let's go on over to Jeremiah chapter 2 and pick it up at the 11th verse. Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 11. Have a nation changed their gods? Which are yet not gods. You see that? So none of these nations on the face of this planet have changed their gods. You understand that, right? None of them. So as we just read over there in Second Ezra, we said, hey, people do their own will, right? And these people develop their own gods and philosophies. And it's going on to this very day. So the Europeans that gave us Christianity, they was giving us a pile of lies, right? Huh? Ishmael giving us that, that uh, Islam. That was a pile of lies, right? Because they dealing with other gods. They ain't changed nothing. But what did our people do? Let's read but my people have changed their glory for that which do not profit. You see that? So we decided, we chosen, we the golden chosen nation of the Most High. But we're going to change our honor and then go follow these other nations. We had to direct connect by being in proper order, being in company with you, how we had to direct connect to the power of the universe. Read on. Be astonished, O you heavens, at this, and be horribly afraid. Be you very desolate, saith the Most High. You see that the Most High is born in the heavens. He said, this, this order right here, you see what my people done did? He said, be astonished at it. This is a horrible thing what we have done. Uh, uh, what does astonishment mean by definition? That's like, man, like, it's utter, like, and all. Yeah, that's like crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? So like, when you look at our people today, we done become, you, you done become, uh, it's like a commonplace thing when you see what goes on in the ghetto. It's like, it's common, right? But these people look at this is why they call you animals. This is why the police are saying, well, damn, another night in the zoo. You understand what I'm saying? Because we have so much disorder, so much disarray. You understand what I'm saying? That it's, it's, it's a sad thing. I got the definition, just the basic definition of astonish. Go ahead. Extremely surprising or impressive. Amazing. You see that? And it's amazing for what we have done, being, being the fact that we was connected directly to the most high y'all. Right? Read on. Verse 13. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living water. We did what? Forsaken me, the fountain of living water. Notice that, read. And hewed them out cisterns, broken cisterns, that can hold water, you that see. can hold no water. You see that? So instead of us holding on to Yahweh, staying in that order that Yahweh gave us, we're going to go to the broken cisterns and what have you. Mm. We go to the philosophies and ways of these other nations their gods, and then all the way down really following Hashem time. Huh. He's the father of this broken sister, and this is what we're doing. We're following nothing but complete disorder because we don't understand. Huh. And this is why we got to get back to the proper order that Yahweh has set forth. Huh. So I just wanted to bring that out as a basic foundation to show you, man. Most High has dealt with three rebellions against him. Can you imagine the patience and endurance he has to have? This is why Yahweh it says that Yahweh is long-suffering. Huh. But this is why I know a lot of our people now, well, why don't God talk to me now? You know what I'm saying? The most high has turned his back because of the constant rebellion. And you would too. Can you imagine that? You have a wife or what have you, you know what I'm saying? She rebelled. 
Then you got a little daughter, what have you, showed her nothing but love and what have you. She rebelled. You constantly dealing with these type of rebellions, and this is what the most High has been dealing with. Again, that's why it's so important for us to get back to that order. So I just want to share that as a foundation. They got our women open, women and men's clothing. Our heritage was stolen, and we disgrace our culture. The industry is vultures, and they worship them sculptures. They got them in their churches, and they not supposed to. Our women on the poles, and then they call them hoes. And for them dollars, then they tell them, take off all your clothes. They saying it's for school, they think it should be cool. When will they get a clue to they dead up on the news?